Hi everyone, welcome to Fact vs. Fiction. My name is Kritika and with me today I have our health reporter Shachi. Hello. So Shachi has been tracking and debunking all the misinformation around coronavirus. But what we noticed was that all these uh, debunks that we have done, all the stories and reports that we have written, they, the, still the claims keep coming back to us. So we decided we'll do a uh, top uh, misinformation episode around coronavirus. And yes, but first, let us give you an update of all the statistics. So Shachi, what is uh, the statistics? What are the numbers as of now? How many global cases have been reported? So basically, uh, if you look at it, it started from Jan 23, okay? Uh, China came out with its first reports, with, with its first cases on Jan 23. And since then, there have been around more than 110,000 confirmed cases with about 327 deaths across the world in 108 countries and around 62,000 have also recovered. Re Coming to India, yeah. we have 43 confirmed cases, three of which have recovered from Kerala earlier. Right. And now we have 40 active cases distributed across the country. We have some from Delhi. We have 16 Italian nationals who have confirmed cases. We have another six new ones in Kerala. We have two in Ladakh. We have one in Jammu and Kashmir. Right. We have one in Telangana. And so it's, it's, it's spread. It's across the country. It's not, it's not limited to a certain region. Right, but then uh, three of the cases have been recovered. Yes. That's what the... Okay. So, the three yeah. that recovered were, yeah. came down from Wuhan, China, the epicenter of where right. it all started. Right. The current outbreak, which has started since March 2nd, is yeah. basically travel history from Iran and Italy. Right. The new epicenters, which have now have around the second and third highest cases of the virus. Right, okay. Okay, so let's get to the misinformation that is going viral again. Yes. So the first one has to do with boiled garlic water. Now, uh, the claim is that if you drink uh, boiled garlic water on an empty stomach, mm -hmm. it, it will prevent uh, coronavirus. So <laughs> this is the uh, claim that we received on our helpline as well. So Shachi, what is yeah. the truth behind this? So basically, uh, garlic water has been seen to help for as a home remedy for normal colds right. but not for this current strain let me put a disclaimer out there coronavirus is a family of viruses right. that basically have flu-like symptoms right. so the SARS which came up in China in 2002 MERS which came up in 2006 in, in Saudi Arabia and and in the Middle East are also types so this current outbreak is one such type whose source we are still researching right. and so the government and the WHO and everybody has also come up with these notifications that you can follow a couple of things but home remedies we, we are unsure of. Right. So boil garlic water as for a normal cold, sure. But for COVID-19, mm, not, not so really. much. Yeah, okay. So the second claim is somewhat similar to our first claim. Uh, and it just replaces the <laughs> ingredient. Yeah. It just says that uh, ginger, boiled ginger water mm. will help you prevent coronavirus. So again, I mean, is it true? Again, it's false. <laughs> we have no scientific theories and studies supporting these claims. Right. Till any journal does not publish such work, we, we have to limit ourselves to our grandmother and home remedies. And right. then with our own precautionary and with our own logic, use them around. There is no confirmed theory stating COVID-19 or coronaviruses will be affected, will be will be prevented by these garlic and ginger nuskas. Right, right. Okay. Mm. So, uh, the next one is about weed. And uh, it uh, it's so claimed that weed kills coronavirus. Now, uh, we received this on our helpline number and it is sort of a graphic and it seems that a news channel put it out. And it seems to be a screenshot of a news channel. So, uh, Shachi, what do you have to say about this I'd like, one? I'd like to apologize to all the stoners who are rejoicing. <laughs> Uh, sadly, this also is false right. because uh, this is actually a meme generator. Right. You have all these apps coming online and websites online yeah. where you can make up new things, use new channels, new channels, logos, new things. Uh, exactly. Template, so we yeah. came across the meme generator, which it was created from, and we also created one of our own, yeah, saying oh, fake news kills coronavirus. Yeah, that's and what, spreads that's misinformation. The one. And Fact uh, check cures coronavirus. <laughs> so we went ahead with that. Right. So. Again, that, that's one of our own and that was actually a meme generator, nothing true. I'm sorry for everybody who is rejoicing and hoping that it would be legalized in our country. 
Yeah. But sadly, that's not happening. So this one's breakyourownnews.com. Yes. The meme generator website, yes. right? Now, uh, the next one is again around the same thing, but it's it's just uh, replacing uh, and otherwise. weed. And it says that people who are uh, drink alcohol won't get coronavirus. How I wish. But <laughs> again, this is false. So, uh, this is in our mouthpiece, Dopaher Ka Samna came out yes, with this correct. article. Yeah. Uh, India Hindi India Hindi papers on yeah. February 14. Yeah. Now, the World Health Organization has clearly stated that alcohol will kill coronavirus, but not drinking it. The yeah. alcohol that you find in your sanitizers, in your hand rubs, are about 60% to 70% of alcohol. And th those products are made up of 60 to 70% of alcohol. Right. When you use those, they could stave off the coronavirus. They could l stop them from coming on your surface, right. skin surface. So it's just a preventive mechanism or issued by the World Health Organization. Right. But drinking will no way help it. <laughs> there is no theory as such as claiming. Right, 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 right. So yeah. drinking alcohol is like not going to help you cure coronavirus. Hmm. Going on to the next claim, it's hmm. uh, Detol. And uh, I am very much sure that you've received this on your uh, WhatsApp. And it says that Detol already knew about coronavirus and it's already prepared. So, Shachi, what is this? Emphasizing the first disclaimer that I made, corona, difference between coronavirus and COVID-19. Right. Detol, we reached out to Rekit Benning, sir, who are the manufacturers of Detol. Right. They clearly put it out saying that we are sure to deal with other families and other strains of coronavirus, not the current one. They, mm -hmm. They're not denying that it won't work against it because they've not gotten the strain to work on yet. Right. So they have claimed that if the strain is available to them, they'll run a series of tests and then they'll be able to come to a conclusion. Right. Meanwhile, these coronaviruses they are talking about are other strains which they have actively been useful against. Right. The current strain, no. Yeah. Right. Um, now, the next one is to do with ice creams and cold drinks. So, can, uh, like, if you don't eat ice creams or if you don't drink cold drinks, does it help you prevent coronavirus? Nothing as of now either. Again, so, you know, we have this home remedy of normally avoiding cold food and... When you have a cold. It. Yes. When you have yes. a cold. Yeah. So, taking all those grandmother theories and nuskas, everybody's just been pasting them about... Yeah, yeah. Up and so, about from this. garlic, so, ginger, yes. Yes. everything. So, similarly, yeah. ice creams and co will prevent you from a cold. But yeah. then if you've been, surround, been around a person who's unwell, who probably has the virus... virus. God knows how you're going to save yourself <laughs> by stopping ice creams. Why, why did I... Why, you know, did I... Keep yourself away from such a pleasure. Right, right. Okay. So, this is the last one and uh, it is actually an advisory from the Ayush Ministry. And this one supposedly claims to say that Arsenicum album will prevent you from coronavirus. So, did uh, Ayush Ministry really come up with this advisory? And yes. Okay. So, the, the ministry came up with this advisory stating some Ayurvedic medicines, some Onani medicines, some homeopathic medicines right. which will help because uh, in India, as you know, we have different schools of medicine. So, Ayurveda, homeopathy and allopathy are three Right. of the main ones hmm. and a lot of practitioners do practice right. uh, these schools of medicine. The Ayush ministry has gone ahead and started the distribution of these tablets as the well. The Arsenicum album. Yes, okay. Arsenicum okay. album 30. Yeah. They say that you consume one of these for three days on an empty stomach and that will prevent you of sorts from the virus but if you are still showing symptoms you can repeat the dose on a doctor's recommendation. Right. Okay. However, uh, true and however it talks about prevention it is not supported by the world health organization right and secondly we did like a search on the major web portals or major medicinal portals to see how true this claim stands right, right like we did a pubmed research we did a research gate research to just run through how true it is and we've not found any right. studies suggesting that these tablets help any sort of infection forget right. COVID-19, any sort of infection. The only study that we came across was about how these were used in neonatal calves to clear diarrhea. Okay, right. Which is okay. very Wait, unrelated yeah, from, from, right. from humans. So, right, right. For, for human use, nothing as such, as has, such come out. has come out. Okay, so these are the claims that are really going viral on social hmm. media and maybe you should check before forwarding all these messages. But uh, before uh, going off, uh, we would like to tell you what are the preventive measures that you can take to prevent coronavirus. Yes. So, Shachi, can you just take us through all the... So, the like, first one is, as I mentioned, clean, yeah. the 
cleaning your hands with alcohol based sand, uh, hand rubs now again the, another preventive mechanism you have to take into consideration is mm. that alcohol could dry your hands so right. the regular normal soap and water is the best way to go about it to keep your hands wet keep you know keep clean them and all of that secondly when you're coughing or when you're sneezing cover your cover your face with a tissue or with a flexed elbow right. and uh, don't necessarily get into the fear of the masks right because the wh has also stated masks only for the ones who are already sick not for right. the ones who are healthy right thirdly or uh, if you've used a tissue immediately throw it into the throw bin to save dustbin, it yeah. from so that spending. others also don't exactly, get it right. exactly why only save yourselves for everybody yeah. <laughs> right then uh, if you are sick if you know somebody who's traveled abroad who, sub, who if somebody is showing those signs do not be in close proximity with them yeah. and just for your sake save yourself from it uh next don't eat under cooked or raw food yeah. thoroughly cook your vegetables meat and eggs because we don't know the source of the virus yet yeah and finally avoid attending large gatherings like our own uh, political figures exactly our own political figures are not going to be celebrating holi tomorrow yeah most so, of them are not going yes. to be yeah. so they, they 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 are imbibing what they are asking us to do and finally yeah. if you have symptoms please don't self medicate Go to, go to a doctor. A doctor go doctor to a is doctor. really important. They have studied all of that. They've got that degree for this reason. So, yeah. guys, use hand sanitizers and follow all these preventive measures so that you do not uh, get coronavirus. But these were the uh, these were the claims that are going viral again and again. If you come across these claims, do, uh, do send them. Uh, do send the people who are who are sending all these claims to you our fact checks that we have debunked, or just share this show. And if you come across more such claims or uh, around coronavirus. on virus or anything else you can send it over to our helpline number and we'll help you fact check them thank you for watching have a nice day